windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down I wanna hear it talking shit, fuck the drama Come on, I'ma send you to your mama Hey everyone, being a fine figure here and welcome back to the channel as today we will finally unbox the Marvel Legends Marvel's 80 years 2 pack of Colossus and Juggernaut. Now I did have the built a figure Juggernaut, I did have a Marvel Select Colossus. As soon as I was able to secure a pre-order for this re-release or reissued, I got I put them up. I ended up selling them faster than I thought I would, considering that this was gonna be out there, and I know a lot of people also wanted it. But hey, I got them out there, got them at a good fair price. I'm not a scalper, you know. They got good deals on both of them. I got rid of them because this is the ones that I wanted. This particular coloring, I wanted it a lot better than that builder figure. Even though that was my go-to Colossus and I love that figure, I got a better one now. And of course, this is my first Marvel Legend Colossus. And it just looks great. It looks amazing. And again, this is a reissue from several years ago. I didn't get my hands on it because uh, by the time I... I got into real heavy, into not so much heavy, but a lot more into Marvel Legends. It was scalper prices, and I wasn't going to pay you those kind of prices. It's just for one figure alone, can you imagine what both of them, it was just crazy. But again, they listened to their fans. They got a reissue out there, and I was able to finally get mine. So anyway, as we do here on the channel, I am going to get both of these figures out of the packaging, and I will be right back. All right, now that the figures are out of the packaging, we will quickly go over the accessories. And I guess I'll start with Juggernaut. Since, I, like I said, I used to have the Builder figure, so uh, it's not much of a difference except for the color scheme and the head swap and stuff. So anyway, it's good to finally have extra set of hands for Juggernaut. The other Builder figure Juggernaut that I had only had the fist on it. And it's great to have the grip hand here and here and of course it got his little is this remote is it movable oh uh, yeah it is you can actually slide this piece you can actually remove it it's actually pretty good so you can have it with the bare hands uh this one here also yeah so they do slide off now uh, it's a nice touch and you can have them without bare with the bare hands and of course he does come with the battle damage uh, helmet which is actually what keeps gives him his powers i guess keeps him unstoppable so yeah, I mean, that was one hell of a blow. And I like the, they did a the little shading there, uh, like sort of metallic. Uh, it is a rubber piece, it is very flimsy. So I don't know if the original one was like that, but this one has, it's a little bit on the soft side. So it's a little flaw. So I guess, you know, when you posing them up and doing them with somebody's punching them and stuff, you can actually get better effects by, you know, trying to hold it in piece or, you know, hold it in place like it's actually getting mangled, which is actually a nice touch. And of course, you do get an alternate beat up head with a little black eye there. And they put in a little red inside the eyes, you can see. It's nice. And then of course, he's getting the ugly mug. Kind of reminds me of Falcon from G.I. Joe Classified. He's got that, uh, square ass mug but he's got some nice hair they got the little highlights in there nice combed he's got a little shaved on the side there but yeah it's a nice piece he's got the busted lip i think he has a missing tooth but because the lips we can't really see it but you can see the little hole there where the inside the mouth that he's like missing a tooth it would have been cool if they would have just separated on this side here but nice it comes with an extra accessory the ones that the my builder figure did not have and now Again, it is the same. It's a big figure. I can't get too close. Um, it is the same one, except that this particular face sculpt is a, looks a lot better. And he's got that chip, chip tooth in there. And this piece here is also, it's it's not, I cannot, can't say that it's rubber, but it's like a softer plastic. But this one here, it's more pliable. Uh, this one here is just a little firmer, but it's still movable. I, I don't remember. I'm... Like again, I actually thought I was still going to be having that build a figure around, but I put it in within a couple of days. Somebody scooped it up. So again, phenomenal pricing. So they got one hell of a price for that build a figure. Um, but yeah, he does have the chip tooth. He's got the white out, white out eyes, which gives it a nice touch. And then of course he's got the same details. Now the brown on this, this maroon brown. It's a lot lighter than the other one, but the other one had the darker tone. And I think this was also even darker. This wasn't red. If I'm not, if I don't remember, I'm gonna have to go back on some of my videos and my shorts and pictures and 
hold it up. And of course, everything else is the same. It has the same. It is a, it is still a little loose like the other one, but not as loose. I mean, it, it was a built a figure, so that one was a lot looser. But never had any issues. It always stood up. It never fell. And at times, I still was able to pose them up running on one leg. So it's still, you were able to balance it out pretty good because i mean it takes some movement but you can so let's see if i can get him in that sounds like my wife is having a ball um but yeah yeah it's gonna make me look bad but but yeah i mean if you you can hold them up and, and pose them into uh some nice balance act there you go yeah, he's going to fall. But yeah, uh, you play around a little bit. It doesn't really take that much effort. But um, but yeah, you get the nice movement there on Juggernaut. It's a nice image there. Nice little pose. But yeah, again, the build a figure. Uh, I, I'm happy I finally got my hands on this particular this color repaint on it. Now, on to Colossus. So, in between scenes, when I go back and I open them up out of the packaging, because I do open them live, I have all my figures, that's how I do them. I don't re pre open them and go through them and, and put them back in a box and pretend that they're not open. They're always taped up. I open them up. So I had yet to remove the Colossus out of the packaging. So and when I did, oh, let's quickly, he does come with an extra set of fists and he's got the nice metallic. As you can see, he's got the nice. Um, I guess the knuckle structure of it from it is actually pretty nice. Um, I wish that the peg would have been a little bit better shade. And then not that flat gray color because it does stand out. Um, on the hands it's here, it's not as bad. Um, they actually touched it up. This one's are You can actually see it. And it's like the neck also. And we'll get over to that. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, this particular foot was dangling down like that um and when i went to put it on it wasn't going in it wasn't going in and it turned out that the the piece was out um i don't want to take it out because then i had a hard time putting it in that piece was already like loose and then inside the, the around the peg there around the the pin i guess the pin inside had come down and it was blocking you know the the pick the actual swivel on it so i couldn't get it in so i had a took me a while to get something thin enough to get it in there to open up break up that glue so i could finally get it in there and i was able to swivel it now now it is a lot looser because it's you know that holder there for the around the pin it's, it got stretched out of me trying to uh get it in there but at least i'm able to at least gonna be able to pose it and it and not have to worry about having that drop foot, you know. So anyway, Colossus. Again, I did have the Marvel Select. I got rid of it. I, I did like it. It wasn't that I didn't like it, but I always wanted this particular version um, a little smaller because that particular version, when I used to put it with my Juggernaut, was even taller than the Juggernaut. And I'm used to Colossus just being a little bit smaller than Juggernaut. So this is this perfect scaling. Nice size X-Men. Um, I think it's more accurate as far as uh, other figures and stuff when it comes to the have, forming the team of the X-Men. So he is a nice size. So he does have that nice faded crew cut and the face on it. The eyes are a little darker, which is a nice touch. And I mean, it's just the glossiness of the metallic of his uh, armor is it's just in skin is incredible it's great and the details of the ears and you got the face and stuff it looks great again my thing it's that peg there i wish it would have been on a ball joint but it's an old reissued so you do have that line of that you know that swivel there and again here too and even if you painted it i guess as you move back and forth it, it will scrape off the paint anyway but I wish that it's the only drawback on this so far. Other than that, the uniform, the coloring on it, again, it's great. Um, this particular hand kind of looks a little small. And I think the fist might be, I guess we'll look at it. It's actually, actually, no, it's not too bad. He's got the grip hands. 
Um, they did little, his, I guess, midi shorts, I guess, <laughs> on him. I wish they were a little bit longer because you can tell the actual line would have been great if they would have gone that far down. Um, there, they look like they're just writing up and then the diaper kind of covers it up. So it would have been nice if they would have just painted all the way down. Who knows? Maybe I will touch that up myself. Um, but they did the little, I guess, details of the scrunch up tights there. And then, of course, Colossus boots with the little flap up top. And again, it's just now it's just loose, but at least I'm able to move it. Uh, it's the only con of it. Uh, I'm kind of fact that I got a little damaged one but easy fix um, it's not totally perfect but it will do but this is a great Colossus and again I love the scales on these two particular figures together now that I finally got them actually let me straighten my uh, juggernaut who is one of my all-time favorite villains along with Sabretooth are my two favorite um, X-Men villains and of course, see, I like the scaling on this. This is actually pretty cool because he goes in get a couple figures out of here because he does look good. Again, with my other favorite um, villain from the X-Men world, uh, number one villain, actually, I'm a huge Sabretooth fan. And again, the scaling on this particular saber to it's off the chain it looks pretty good and again you put him next to colossus and it's not bad it looks pretty good and then of course i do have the recently released astonishing wolverine and of course the scale is like just what you want it to be short Wolverine, and of course, looks like a dwarf next to Juggernaut. So, final word on this reissued pack to me. Um, it's great. I'm glad I got my hands on it. I've been waiting. To, I was actually looking around still to a couple months ago. I was still trying to get my hands on the, at least on Colossus, because I already had to build a figure Juggernaut. And it was just, I just couldn't pull the trigger. It was just too much. So this is a godsend. I finally got my hands on it. I get to add it to my collection. And I am a happy camper right now. So anyway, actually, let's, uh, before I go, since I got it, I might as well put it to good use. Let's see what he looks like. And there it is. Yep. So he does have that little, I guess, I don't know, peg holders or something, or head holders that you can just slide there around half of his head. And he holds it in place, and then you get that beat up, punched in the face, um, juggernaut look. And again, the hands are going to come in handy for photography along with the Colossus. So, yeah, again... Real happy with this, and I know a lot of you guys already had this, so um, I, I finally got my own. So, as always, guys, thank you for tuning in, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. And as always, continue to be a fine figure, support each other, and I will see you later. Bye.